I'm going to give you a breakdown of the three-game series between the Philadelphia Phillies and the San Francisco Giants, and we're starting right now. What is going on? My name is Alpha Omega. Welcome to another video. If this is your first time here and you want to learn how to bet on sports like a pro and gain an edge over the sports books, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. So I've been wanting to cover the Giants for a while now, but there have been other series that possessed more value from a betting perspective. However, here we are, and we have an important series between the Phillies and the Giants. This series is important because the Giants have come literally out of nowhere to within striking distance of a wild card spot, and the Phillies are currently one of the teams who would get a wild card spot if the season were to end today. This is a four game series, and the Giants are four games out of the wild card. So if the Giants were to potentially sweep this series, they would be tied with the Phillies for a wild card spot. While the Giants have been hot recently, a great majority of the sharp bettors, including myself, have been mostly fading the Giants for weeks now, even in the midst of their hot streak, specifically because the Giants couldn't possibly continue winning just based on their roster and the regression to the mean. As is normally the case, sharps have been correct in their predictions, as the Giants have only won three of their last 10 games, including coming off getting swept by the Washington Nationals, and only managing four total runs in those three games. To further complicate San Francisco's playoff hopes is the fact that Alex Dickerson, the lightning rod who sparked many of the wins in the prior Giants winning streak, is on the injured list, with news coming out today that he will not be ready as soon as previously hoped, with manager Bruce Bochy saying that as of August 7th, he hasn't even begun swinging a bat yet, and will most likely require two or three minor league starts to make sure he's ready to return to the club. For a team like the Giants, who possess one of the worst offensive in baseball, this is a huge blow as everyone from the players to the manager Bochi, to the GM, have all said that Dickerson was the spark that ignited the team, and without him, the team just hasn't been the same. On the flip side, the Giants finally dumped second baseman Joe Panic. While this is a tough pill to swallow for fans and the players like Pablo Sandoval, as Panic was a part of the last Giants World Series run, the guy hasn't been a contributor to the team in years, and if the Giants weren't such a notoriously loyal franchise, he would have been dumped last year. The silver lining in this is the message that dumping Joe Panic sends to the rest of the team. This is a guy who helped win the Giants a World Series, but he was not playing even close to the expectations the franchise had for him, and poor performance is no longer going to be tolerated. And if you want to remain a member of this club, you need to contribute. The Giants also have a great farm system, and there's plenty of young talent waiting to be called up. The question now, as a better, is to decide how you think the Giants will respond to all of this adversity. Don't count them out just yet. Also, I know I'm spending a lot of time talking about the negative aspects of this team, but all of this is important to consider before you make a bet on this series. While the Phillies haven't had the issues the Giants have faced, Philadelphia has only won five of their last ten, including dropping two of three to the Diamondbacks, leading into this series with the Giants. It's also worth noting that the Phillies won two of three against the Giants less than a week ago. So this is a quick turnaround with the only difference being that in the last series, Philadelphia was at home, and the Giants have a better road record than they do a home record this year. Remember also that home versus road trends don't generally have much informational value when deciding how to bet on a game. Also, trends in general aren't that useful either. Now that's not to say that trends never have value, but never place a bet solely because of trends. And this is a common mistake that I hear and see far too many bettors make. This is the biggest series of the year for both teams, as the Phillies have most of the National League breathing down their neck for that wildcard spot, and San Francisco is fighting for its season. The Game 1 Alpha Omega Vegas Consensus Line has the Phillies money line at minus 114 with a buyback price on the Giants of plus 104 with a total sitting at seven and a half. 
This line has been bet down from the opening line of Giants and Phillies at minus 110. But if I had to make a guess, this is most likely recreational action, so do not let this early movement affect how you bet the game or the series. Implied odds mean based on the current money line odds, what is the projected implied probability of victory? Basically, it's the chances of victory expressed as a percentage. In this case, Vegas is saying that the Phillies have a 53% chance of taking game one, with the Giants having a 49% chance of pulling off the victory. Stay tuned for my statistical breakdowns for each team that will help you decide how to bet on this series. I'm going to break down some of the most important factors to consider when betting this series. But before we get into the statistical breakdown between the Phillies and the Giants, I want to let you know that I'm going to be greatly expanding the scope of this channel. Now I know I've been mentioning this for a couple weeks, but I'm getting very close to the start date for filming. Basically in the near future, I'm not only going to be including betting guides like this one, where I cover what I feel are the best series and games in the MLB, the NFL, college football, and college basketball, but I'm also going to be discussing the trending sports topics of the day and their relation to sports betting. My goal is I want you as the viewer to gain some useful information or gain some info you didn't have before you watched one of my videos so you can make more winning sports wagers. So a topic like Ezekiel Elliott's holdout is an example of the stuff that I may cover in the future. This should be common knowledge by now, but Zeke is not as big a part of the Cowboys success as the mainstream sports media thinks he is. And that's my point and really what I want to provide for you in expanding my coverage. The mainstream sports media dominates YouTube. And while their discussions do have entertainment value, my goal is to make you money. Now you tell me what's more entertaining. Watching Stephen A. Smith ramble about how Zeke is the best football player on the Dallas Cowboys? Or is putting real money in your pocket more entertaining to you? You don't need to tell me, I already know. And don't get me wrong, I like watching two dudes argue about sports, but I've never made one dollar from anything they talk about on those shows. That's not what they do, they entertain. But making money for you, that is what I do. I put money in your pocket by giving you a sports better's perspective on the news of the day. Quick thank you to everyone who watches, likes, comments, and subscribes, because the way the YouTube algorithm works, Every little bit counts. And the growth of this YouTube channel and kind of the subscribers and the likes, the comments, it's been awesome, so I wanna thank you. Also, make sure and subscribe and hit that notification bell because like I said, I'm going to be posting a lot of content. And remember that every single video that I make gives you free, actionable info that you can use to make smarter bets, regardless of whether you decide to sign up with me or not. Also, speaking of signing up, remember to hit the link in the description and sign up for a sports pick package on my website in order to get the plays that I bet on each day. I have sports pick packages that can fit in with any bankroll. I have discounts on season passes, and I'm at 65% in 2019 with my most popular wise guy plays. Regardless of the package you choose, the value increases when you sign up for a longer package. I have standard unit packages where you receive all of my regular daily plays. I have season passes for individual sports. And I also have my wise guy packages that include my max unit wise guy plays that are at 65% in 2019, along with occasional parlays that are not available when you purchase a standard unit package. Regardless of which package you choose, I email you my daily plays and you turn my picks into your profit. I'm also changing around my Wise Guy promotion to give you even more reason to sign up now. If you purchase any Wise Guy package one week or longer, I'm guaranteeing that you'll profit from my picks, or you get the rest of my MLB season pass and my entire NFL season worth of picks, including all Wise Guy plays for free. So you sign up for a Wise Guy package and you either turn a profit or you get all of my MLB season picks and my full NFL season pass through the Super Bowl for free. That also includes all Wise Guy plays in both sports. I've also never had a losing baseball season, so either way you're going to make money with me. I also don't send out Wise Guy plays every day, so you end up receiving a lot more days than your purchase length. Hit the link in the description of the video and you will turn into a winning better.
Now that I've updated you on the future of the channel and gone over why signing up with me can give you an edge over the sports books and turn you into a consistent winner, let's break down some of the factors to consider when making a bet on this series. FIP, or Fielding Independent Pitching, measures the performance of a pitcher without taking into account the defense or luck. Yes, there is a mathematical equation to determine luck. Basically, fielding independent pitching is a more stable and reliable indicator of a pitcher's true performance than a more basic stat such as ERA. In this case, I'm speaking about relief pitching. The Giants rank second in all of the MLB in terms of relief FIP, and San Francisco has the best relief pitching in the National League as only the Indians rank higher. The Phillies, on the other hand, rank 27th in terms of relief fielding independent pitching. What this means is that when Phillies relievers come in, it's time to bet on the Giants. And when the Giants bring in their relief pitching, especially in a close game, it might be a good idea to stay off the Phillies. Advantage Giants. A team's strikeout to walk ratio as it relates to offense measures a hitter's ability to distinguish between balls and strikes and stay patient and disciplined at the plate. The Phillies rank ninth in all of the MLB in terms of their offensive strikeout to walk ratio, which means that the Phillies hitters are generally more disciplined at the plate, don't strike out as much, and draw more walks. All of this is important, whether you're betting full game lines or live betting this series. The Giants, on the other hand, rank 20th in their offensive strikeout to walk ratio, which places them as a lower tier team in terms of plate discipline. Advantage Phillies. Another factor to consider is a team's pitcher's ability to get outs and stay in the game without burning through a bullpen. In a four-game series, this could be important as the series moves on. The Giants rank third in all of the MLB in terms of the number of outs each pitcher records per nine innings, which means the Giants have very good pitching and also they have relievers capable of going multiple innings with ease. The Phillies, on the other hand, rank 18th in terms of allowed outs per pitcher per nine innings, which means the Phillies don't do a good job of knocking an opposing pitcher off their game. So you have a top three team against a below average team. No question. Advantage Giants. Left on base percentage measures the percentage of base runners that a pitcher strands on base over the course of a season. This stat does not use the left on base numbers reported in box scores, but instead is calculated using a pitcher's actual hits, walks, and runs scored, which basically means this stat is more accurate because it's measuring what's actually going on in the game versus more of an estimate of what's going on. The Phillies starting pitching ranks fifth in left on base percentage, which places Philadelphia as one of the best teams in baseball. The Giants, on the other hand, rank 19th in LOB percentage, which means the Giants' starting pitching has a far greater tendency to allow opposing runners to score than does Philadelphia's starting pitching. An important factor to consider. Advantage Phillies. In addition to this betting guide, I also have a link to more MLB betting guides. You'll see a link right here. I recommend that you click on that now. As always, in full disclosure, while I do provide a lot of useful info in these videos, if you really want to take your sports betting to the next level, you have to sign up with me, Alpha Omega. If you hit the link and check out my available packages, you'll see that I offer sports pick packages that can fit in with any bankroll. So if you're a beginner in the sports betting world or a seasoned sports better, I have a package that can help you increase your win percentage and put more money in your pocket. So hit the link in the description, find the package that fits in with your betting style, and sign up with me today. And if you want to learn more about betting on sports like a pro and gaining an edge over the sports books, start now by hitting the round subscribe icon so you don't miss anything. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.